welcome back to the channel you guys today i'm going to be showing you guys how i achieved this look with the model ones poly gel kit so if you guys want to see how i got this look just keep on watching okay so you guys as you can see we're going to get to opening it up it comes with a lamp it comes with a brush file and a nail clipper um, it also comes with cuticle oil as well. It also comes with those forms, forms for nails, but I wasn't trying to use them for like my actual nails. I wanted to use this for my toes specifically. It comes with a cuticle pusher and that is the applicator as well. The brush is really thin which kind of made it easy, but you're gonna see with the application process, I kind of struggled a little bit, y'all. It's not as bad, but once you get a hang of it, I think you're gonna be okay, but it's definitely a learning curve to it. And it also came with three, like, no, I think it was like a couple of nude colors, clear and white, in case you wanted to encapsulate some stuff, but I only went with the nude color. But as you can see here, I'm just, pushing the cuticle down y'all when I say I struggle it's because I miss gutsy I got a gut I like to eat I'm working on it but between like my back and me just trying to bend over from my gut I was struggling a little bit just a little bit okay <laughs> so don't judge me also as you can see I did spray my feet down with a uh, 70 percent alcohol 70 percent volume um that is the minimal amount i usually use the 90 percent but today i only had the 70 so i just used that okay you guys don't be judging my little pinky toenail okay everybody got something and that's my something my little pinky toenail but anyway as you can see i'm just going to be clipping my toenails down um with a straight edge nail clipper i like those better than the curved ones because it gives a more defined look and then next i'm just going to be taking the shine off of my nails because i already pushed my cuticle back a little bit with a cuticle pusher that came with the set And for those who are wondering, I like to do dry pedicures. Like, I like to apply my enhancement first. That way my nail hasn't like been soaking in water because your nails actually can soak up the water. Which is why when your nails are wet or your hands are wet for a prolonged amount of time, your nails get soft because it soaked up that water. And you don't want to seal that in under your enhancement because that can cause greenies and that can turn into possible uh, funguses. Now, as you can see, I'm just gonna be using my nail prep from Mia Secret. It's a dehydrator. I'm gonna dehydrate the nails and the kit came with a base coat as well so when applying apparently when applying poly gel you're gonna use a base coat but of course i'm gonna add protein bond too um, i use that that help with adhesion and that is from valentino
Now, right here, I will say the base coat was actually pretty uh, thick. Not really thick. Um, it was a pretty good consistency. It wasn't super runny or anything like that. So I do like that about their base coat. Um, and of course, I'm just gonna clean up any spillage that I may have caused. Cause to be honest, I'm quite lazy when it comes to my own nails or toes, be honest. I do <laughs> what I need to do to get the job done. I'm not a perfectionist at all when it comes to my own nails or toes. And as you can see, I'm just curing with this lamp. The lamp did pretty good, y'all. It did a lot better than I thought it was. So I feel like that's a good addition, especially for the price. Now that was the color that I was gonna use. It was actually a really cute nude color. Um, and apparently you're just supposed to apply it with the spatula end and take your solution. It's not supposed to be super duper wet. Your brush is not supposed to be super duper wet. And you know, take your time spreading it. See, I did speed up this video for the sake of time, but I was indeed taking my time because like I said before, it is a learning curve. And I also don't use tips, nail tips on my toes or any other person's toes for that matter. I just use the product to kind of build a free edge, kind of like an overlay. Now at this point, you guys, my camera apparently ran hot and it turned off, okay? And I hate that you guys didn't get to see the rest of the application, but I will definitely show you what it's like when I do fill them in. But I will say so far, I actually really, really like the product. Um, it's really, really easy to file. So I will say be careful when filing because you can definitely take way too much product off because me i'm a little heavy-handed when it comes to myself um as you can see i went from my bigger bulkier file back i was going back and forth just trying to see what would work for me because again i'm not a perfectionist when it comes to myself i just want to see how the product would work and i really really do like it it's really really easy it's easier than i thought it would be now, can somebody who don't do nails at all do this? I'm confident that you probably can. Now, earlier, I know y'all heard me talk about my little pinky toe, okay? I literally got like a little dot for a nail, but with this product, it was so easy to use to me that I was able to really make me a toenail, y'all. I was out here, you know, catfishing. I'm out here catfishing. Really, for real, for real. I got a whole pinky toenail, y'all. Now, as you can see, I was just using my five and one drill bit. I like it, it's a safety bit. Um, it's not gonna cut you, but you can really seal the cuticle really well with it. And that is really important when having enhancements on your toes because you are in the shower, you're taking baths, uh, you are fully submerged. So 
sealing those cuticles is really important because again you don't want any moisture to get under there now what i would recommend for people who have enhancements on their toes please make sure you dry your feet okay and i wouldn't recommend you having enhancements on your toes if all you wear is tennis shoes all the time now i'm not saying you can't have these if you wear tennis shoes but it's like if you're not gonna keep up with the maintenance i would not recommend it okay because that's the quickest way to kind of jack up your feet and get funguses or greenies and stuff like that from all the sweat but again do it at your own risk okay Now after all that filing, okay, it's time to buff them down, make them real smooth, and get them ready for your nail art. Now what I decided to do was a French tip. Now, the French tip was a little lazy, but you don't need to be down there that close to my feet anyway, looking, unless you're my husband, sucking all these toes. You know he don't suck on my toes. But still. The French was cute enough. It gave what it gave. And I still like it. Now, as you can see, I'm spraying my toes down with the alcohol and making sure they're nice and clean. I think I did use some swipe from uh, Young Nails to also clean them up. Yep, I did. To clean them up really good and make sure they were ready to get that nail art popping.
Now, y'all, during this process, I did not know what I wanted to do with my nails, so I did grab some of those little cute uh, flowers and some crystals because, of course, like I said, my French tip was a little lazy. So I just improvised, okay? And I added some cute crystals to the side, like a chunky flower addition. Really cute. Also, after curing that, I do like this McCart like gem glue. It works so good, okay? I hadn't went back to Builder Gel since I got my hands on this. But yes, I decided to add some crystals to like the nail closest to the pinky because I thought it would be like cute. I've seen people do it before, so I wanted to try it. Now that everything is cured and set into place, I did use my IBD Intense Seal Top Coat to seal everything in and give it a nice shine. I do think that this came out really good considering that it's my first time using poly gel, especially on my toes, on myself. So I think this was a really cute outcome, okay? And I really think that anybody could probably use this product. It wasn't too runny, it wasn't too thick. It was a pretty nice consistency, to be honest. So, y'all should run on over to Amazon. Make sure you read your reviews and stuff. It was pretty inexpensive. I think it was around, at most, $35. And you get a lot for the value. To finish everything off, I just added some cuticle oil to add moisture back to the skin and the cuticle area. I will be dropping the link down below for this specific product that I did get so you guys can get it too. Okay, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time.